Welcome back to more of Lenny's World Tour, everybody. Praise be to God on this glorious day today. Colorful Artie's taking you back on the tour bus. We're going to the last uh, probably 10 of the Noisemaker levels. Level 31, the one that got away. We've got 20 Lemmings, and obviously one's gonna get away. By Katy Perry. Okay, not a huge fan of Katy Perry, but that's alright. We don't have to listen to her. When using stackers, most of the time at least one lemming will slip by. Sometimes you can use that to your advantage. However, if you don't want anyone to get past, you might want to give the next lemming something else to do in the meantime to increase the distance. That's where I like the new Neo MX, because the release rate is adjusted, so you can actually have lower than one. In which case, somebody can walk by the stagger. <laughs> More of this song. Alright, so he walks that way, so... Probably gonna use the stagger that way. And you're gonna climb up. Pretty simple. Alright. <laughs> Well, that's a simple level. And sure enough, one will get away. Wow, that could be a lot earlier in the rank. Like, a lot earlier in the rank. All right, though, we're off to a great start for this episode. Level 32, Where Are Them Lems At? by David Guetta. Or Guetta, I don't know how to pronounce that name. Okay, climbers will go over any wall that is completely straight. This means if you do not want a climber to go over a wall, you have to make the wall not straight, even if it's just temporary. Okay. Okay, boss. Well, okay, builder's got to be used there. Cool, cool. Uh, and then we've got bashers and crashers. So here's the thing, he's gonna climb up over all this stuff. I spy with my little eye. I was going to say I spy with my little eye uh, back, but I don't think that's actually true now. I will use both of those. Alright, less of a gap. I still wish that level 4's theme was remixed. All right, so let's make him the guy. There we go. Is that what you're really supposed to do? I mean, I used every skill. But that doesn't seem to have much to do with the actual pre-level text, so... Well, one way or another, I got every lemming uh, to give me a standing ovation, so that's nice. On to level 33, Mein Kleiner Grüner Cactus, by Commander Harmonists. Okay, then. Or Comrade Harmonists? I'm not sure. That is definitely German, though. And I apologize for butchering it. Ooh, this is a pretty desert level. Pretty desert levels are not easy to make. Although the new tile set makes it a lot more doable. I love the trees and the vines up at top. A digger only needs a tiny piece of terrain in order to work. And that piece of terrain doesn't necessarily have to be under his feet. Okay. Oh, and one-way arrows. Those look good. Shoutouts to Gigalem for making this awesome desert remix tile set. Nothing against the Mita, but the original desert tile set was not very
very aesthetically pleasing. This one it looks really nice. All right, well. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Coolest lemmings tricks in my mind. You can dig a little bit. Uh, if you're above, if you're above a giant pit, like the lemming picks a wise is right. Ab it's above empty space, but he's still digging through something. You can make him a blocker, and he'll stop digging. Oh, that's steel. Interesting. That's actually not good. Oh, simple solution. We build at the top, because there's this convenient desert ceiling right there. Clever, using the terrain to your own advantage. Very nice. And I'm calling Strato clever for inventing that, not myself. That was a very nice level. Advanced trick using the blocker to stop the digger. I must say that. Actually, you might not have even needed to do that, to be fair. Oh well. Still, very nice level. I like that a lot. But again, if the blocker to cancel the digger trick is required, might be a bit advanced for the first rank. Just my personal opinion. Level 34, takes two to tango. Oh, I, I hate that saying so much. The people use that as an excuse to be like, oh, stop arguing. Like, I'm like, well, I didn't start it. I'm just defending my case. It's like, no, it takes two to tango. It's, it's, it's like people are using that to justify being rude to people who are just defending their own opinions. I don't like that. Number of lemmings, two. Two to be saved. That's pff, obviously gonna be two for with a name like that. If you have a lemming, build right in front of another lemming who has just started building. The lemming on front is going to turn around. This is pretty obscure to figure out by yourself, hence I'm telling you about it early. Or, alternatively... We can do that instead. Actually, no, we have to do it. Oh yeah, that is an obscure trick to do. Oh, I just had an idea for another level for our lems that can use that trick. Thank you, Strato. Of course, with my work ethic, I'm probably not going to be building it any time soon. Rockin' music, as always. Good level, and thank you for flat out spelling out that trick. I appreciate that, Strato. So, with an obs trick that obscure, because you flat out spelled it out, I could say that could be at the end of the first rank. Yeah, yeah, good job. 
Level 35, while my lemming gently builds. Oh, I like the look of this level. This, that's a pretty brick level right there. By the Beatles. Nice. Love the Beatles. Mew have already been using Basher Tunnels in creation to turn other lemmings around. The same logic can be applied to creative skills. Let's go. Okay, well. Better idea. One builder should not make it across. Two bashers. One for there. Where's the other one? Oh, the other one's to get them out of there. Duh. So I'm gonna try a thing. Little closer than that. Not quite that close. I'm gonna do a clever builder. Yes! Just like that. So when I come back that way, I can build, and it'll connect. And everyone will be able to walk up where they need to. This works. Probably not high enough for that, though. Don't want it. Oh wait, it's a climber, and yeah, that's a that's an obscure climber trick. If if there's like a solid wall that's short enough like that, the climber can literally climb up through it. Ah. Uh... Might not even be intentional as well. Oh, duh. Doing it wrong again. What we want to do is send a climber just a little bit later than that. There we go. That's much better. That also makes this climbing up thing a bit more obvious. Because he'll just do it on his own. That's also a very tight builder timing. Thankfully, the barrel is lipped, so Climber won't climb up it. Wow, that was a pretty tough tutorial level, I must say, with all of the tricks. So, like, the Climber climbing up through the brick, as well as just timing the lemming going over the stacker. No, gotta say, that seems a bit intense for the first rank, but then again, I don't know how tough the other levels are going to be. If this is an insanely hard level pack, then these tutorial levels are doing great. As well as the fact that if the, the, if the tutorial levels are basically supposed to just remind people of skills that you should probably already know, then it, or just skills that you're going to need to know for the rest of the levels, then I'd say it's doing a good job. But when I think of tutorial rank, I think of incredibly easy levels. And not, these aren't necessarily incredibly easy. They're simple, but they can still be challenging. Level 36, Pull Me Under by Dream Theater. We can kill a lemming this time. When you don't have a miner to free a blocker, you need to get a little creative. With a walker? Alright, well, basher. Hmm.
Oh, wait. I think I see it. Oh my gosh. If it's what I think it is, it's a little mean. For an early level. Alright, we're gonna put this guy down. And hopefully he'll survive. Yeah, he'll survive. Cool. Wow. <laughs> That's not very obvious there, Strato. Also, I need to put that blocker a little lower down. Wow. Just wow. I also just realized in hindsight, I could have freed the blocker if I had just let him turn around the builder and go higher up. That's tough for a tutorial level, gotta admit! Gotta admit! With the uneven terrain and everything, and the precise positioning of the blocker, wow. Don't get me wrong, that's a great level, and I love that level. It's also one of the very few Lemmings Plus Free Sky Tile Set levels that I actually did enjoy. The other one being, um, Calm Before the Storm, or like, Eye of the Storm from Seblems, the last level of Revolution. The, the one with the rain in the background, that was also really well done. Level 37, running up that hill, yes! It's the outdoor tile set. One of my new favorite tile sets. I did not use this at all for, until after I made Sublems. And holy cow, it's like my favorite tile set now. Mainly because of the hedge pieces. It looks so pretty. This is by Kate Bush. Bashers can move up small slopes of indestructible terrain, meaning this works for both steel and one-way arrows. The resulting tunnel looks more akin to how the fencer would behave in Lemmings 2 the Tribes. Yeah, in Lemmings 2 the fencer... Nowhere near as good. It, it barely goes up at all. Alright, so bash. Dig mine. Alright, well. This looks simple. It can only be like two to three pixels of steel, though. Any more than that, and it's gonna be a bad time. Turn around, young man. Then after all these guys turn around, walk. Great one of almost everything level. And again, I'm a sucker for the outdoor levels, I must admit. They're very pretty. Level 38, Rock, Paper, Scissors by Katzenjammer. Ooh, well, I love the name in correlation with the tile set. You know I love puns, so very well done. All right, we can kill two lemmings. A stoner's shoulder height is six... Let me start again. A stoner's shoulder height is six pixels. Just saying. Oh, no, you wouldn't. Oh, no, okay. I'm just gonna say, when I encounter a level with a double-digit amount of stackers, I get worried. Because I've only encountered one level that used them correctly. And <laughs> that's one of mine. Wait, no. No, bad stacker. Alright, well, we got no floaters, so we're gonna need a stacker there. Oh, we got it, like, fencers and stuff? I like fencers and I like stuff, so... I'm happy about that. I guess we are going to need the stacker there. One guy's going to get out.
Wait, what? I used this. Oh, what? Oh, I did not know that Onoers could get killed. Uh, I didn't want to save the rainbow just yet. <laughs> okay, I gotta admit, the way the one guy moves past that, that's pretty great. Oh, I've lost too many. Wait, what? There's two of them. How rude. Let him walk a bit more. Oh no. There's too much of a gap. Oh no, now he's stuck. That's less than ideal. Hmm. I don't want him to get stuck. So... No, darn it. Instead, let's space him out a bit more. Okay, that's enough that... Yeah. So that should... I'll sanity check, but I, that should be enough that one fencer can get for both of them. No. I don't like this precise setup. can't tell me one fencer won't get through both of those. Why didn't the one fencer get through both of those? One farther back on the right side. So I actually do want there to be the one pixel gap. There we go, at last. Wow, that was freaking annoying. I beg your pardon, but that should not be happening. Okay. It's too high up, is that it? Well, that's super annoying. And I do I do need a stoner for that part. There's no two ways about that. I need a stoner for that part. So maybe I've been worried about this the whole wrong way. Maybe that's what you're supposed to do, and I was just being a goofus. 
It's okay. Some days I'm a goofus and not a gallant. have to turn around, but then I... Actually, no! Wait a second. This could work. No, this could work. This could work. Maybe. So he's gonna turn around, because the stoner is weird. I'm gonna have to put the stoner, like, right in front of the exit. There's like a nice little. Wow! Let's try that instead. With all my stackers, it's going to be a tall order to do that. have an unlimited amount of stackers, so that's we'll keep them coming. <laughs> this is getting overly convoluted, yes. But it is so worth it. This is how I back root. I find a potential back root, and I don't let it go. Because I'm almost positive this is not what you're supposed to do, but screw fiddling around with those stoners at the beginning there. I only have two stackers left. That would be enough to lift him out. Oh, wow! Okay, well, I actually completely covered the exit. So that's hilarious. But you know what? My solution will work! <laughs> because I have all the stacks over there. I can literally just rewind and just make him blow up farther away from the exit. Right there should be good. Oh, the, no, no. It does, the stacker stoner thing might still work. And you know what? This is fitting with the theme of the level, too, so it's entirely possible this is not a back route. I'll say anything to defend. I'm like, it's not a back route. I'm just doing it in an overly convoluted way. Is that illegal? Well, you'd be surprised. Some farmers do not like people backrooting their levels. Only a few. Personally, when someone backroots my level, while well, it can be annoying at times, 
Like, if it's like, I'm like, there's no way there's a backward, and it's like a ridiculous backward, and they skip the, one of the coolest solutions. Yeah, that's annoying. But ultimately, they helped me out, because they found something that I did not think of. Yeah, that, okay, nope, that fits in perfectly with the intro text, which is saying the stoner is exactly six pixels high. Good level! Too hard for the first rank, but good level. I really like that, and that actually was one level that had a double-digit amount of stackers that I think all the stackers were used very well. So, bravo, bravo. And I, I do understand if you had platformers or builders, then it could have broken the solution too much. Stackers, it, they won't. Next level is a doozy. It's taken a long time to load. Vegas Lights. Panic at the Disco. <laughs> this is one of those super pretty levels that I was telling you guys about earlier on. 40 lemmings. Whoa, we can kill a lot of them. Holy cow, we can kill more than half of them. Swimmers can use sloped terrain to dive. Fortunately, stoners happen to be sloped at their feet. Fortunately and unfortunately. Love the American flag. Oh my gosh, the flags glow. That's really cool. <laughs> ah. This must be where he's saying, fortunately, the stoners are sloped at their feet. That is not terrain, apparently. That's terrain, apparently. Obviously. <laughs> Okay. I'm beginning to see why we can kill so many enemies. Let's start by bashing. Wait, oh, it's not terrain. Okay, that that looks like terrain, so maybe fix that. This is not how I thought the stoners were going to work, I must admit. Um, you know, if it were me, I might make the freeze rays, steam guns, whatever you call them, a little higher. So you don't have to use so many stoners. Because, like, we barely have enough to get through there. 20 stoners to get through these. Too much. Maybe only have two blowers? Oh, of course it's not terrain. It's spinning. Also, epilepsy warning. So I believe... I'm gonna make, like, Bomberman... Now we're gonna time this. No, we're not! We gotta get through that fast. This is where the stackers come into play. I do declare. Hopefully the one guy going backwards will have enough of a head start. Because obviously I want to put a stacker somewhere so that they don't turn around. Oh, 
I'm gonna make that the first lemming, I believe. Second lemming can do a thing. A thing called rock and roll, baby. Oh, I know. Let's be clever. Oh, um, I wanted to be clever. Did I realize that your thing is impossible? <laughs> okay. I gotta admit, that's really cool. Really clever trick. And I'm at the point where I thought I did, couldn't find any more Lemmings tricks. You are introducing me to a whole plethora of new ones, Strato and Sendis. Thank you for that. Also, I love how we went into the Eiffel Tower. That was really cool. All right. Well, we got one more to go. Wait, I went hang on, but I didn't let people die. All right. One. Oh my! Are you freaking serious? Because of two minutes? Because of two minutes, you're not going to let me in? <laughs> wow, okay. How many people saw that and were just snickering in the background? I'm gonna guess three people. Out of the people watching this Let's Play as it's being uploaded, obviously people who watch it in the future might see it as well in that I can't possibly predict how popular it is. This will be a Let's Play that gets a million views. No, not really. Again, I would cut down on the amount of smokers you have to go with. Still a little peeved that my first solution didn't work, just because I forgot that there was a guy who was dying. No less cool, it's just a bit frustrating. Oh well. Very nicely done. That does... That might give people seizures, so maybe just in the future think about that. Level 40, Absolute Beginners by David Bowie. Alright. Kindle 2 means You can, of course, solve this level like a total newbie, or you could try to do it like a pro, using climbers and destructive skills only. Your choice. Climbers and destructive skills only. Okay. Where's the exit? There's the exit. Well, challenge accepted. Oh wait, I... Only climbers and destructive skills and blocker is not included in that. Ha! Excellent. Okay, I'm gonna try a thing. So I'm gonna need a reverse miner. That much is certain. How to turn the guy around though? I have a digger. Hmm. Here's the real question, isn't it? Yeah. I do also have two batteries.
Alright, well, thinking what I can do here. So obviously I need to use the miner to get the money. Or do I? Oh, spoopy. Could I use my skills? Good to know. Good to know. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Oh, I got this. Stop yelling at your computer screens now. I have solved it. Actually, I don't even need that climber. Because it's old Neolemix, ceilings aren't deadly. And I'll even save an extra one. This. Oh talisman, here I come. At least that better be a talisman. I unlocked a talisman, yeah! Awesome, so that is the Noisemaker rank. Should be all the tutorial levels, so I guess next episode we're starting the Amateur rank. Which, hopefully I'm no amateur at this game. Thanks for watching, everybody. Tune in next time for some more fun levels by Strato and Sendis. Pretty strong start to the pack. I'm looking forward to the rest. Until we meet again, everybody, have a great day, and God bless.